In today's episode, we're going to talk about the utility token. Why this is a new format for launching cryptocurrency, etc. What's the difference with the usual cryptocurrency? We're going to talk about old altcoin, cheat coins, etc. Let's dive into this topic. So a few years ago, we started to see new cryptocurrency arrive everywhere. Uh, some of them were good, others were not that good. I'm going to tell you why, because they are that uh, movement of launching, doing a lot of marketing to, uh, to uh, generate and to create a new cryptocurrency, because almost everyone nowadays can just create his own currency with her, his own name, etc. It's not that complex, technically speaking. So... What uh, people were doing, they were launching cryptocurrency, they were doing a bunch of marketing, they were attracting some uh, investors that were putting like millions right, on, right from the bat. And, and the problem is, as soon as everyone was seeing that cryptocurrency uh, skyrocketing, they were saying, oh, wait, we need to buy, we need to buy. And everyone was just rushing, buying some. The investors were taking their money back uh, with, of course, huge profits. And then down the, the cryptocurrency was crashing. So that was what happened with a uh, cheat coin. So basically, uh, that's really a shame that uh, we still have this nowadays. And, uh, and the opposite of that is actually utility token. So what is utility token? A utility token is not only a cryptocurrency that can be traded uh, and, and, uh, and that, that people they can just, uh, yeah, just trade and exchange, but it's a token that can be used for something good, for maybe buying a service, buy, uh, buying a software, buying a, a, a function, or maybe to, a, to a credit a, a specific uh, whatever value proposition you might have. And under that format, um, we can ensure that there will always be some exchange of that of that uh, utility token because if the service that uh, service that you are offering in exchange of that that utility token is useful people will still will continue to buy this utility token and will exchange it uh, and that will ensure the success of that cryptocurrency so that's definitely the difference between a usual um uh, i would say a crypto uh, any cryptocurrency and a uh, utility token, the utility token worth some value. It can be listed on, on, uh, on the market, but it's also used and can be consumed to uh, generate or to do some service or to do whatever your application is. What is good about this uh, environment and smart contracts, etc., is the fact that you can absolutely create your own rules. Um, you can define your own values. You can even predefine the value of your token based on the USD or the Euro or whatever um, currency you want to use. It's really, really uh, interesting to see how this opens a new world to especially startups because startups nowadays are able to not only fund with equity, but they are able to fund with tokens. And we've seen that with uh, huge startups, like I, I think about uh, Swissborg, for example, uh, they open their own tokens, which allow people to fund some money. And then, of course, the, based on, the, on how this token is raising, you earn money, you, uh, you earn benefits, etc. So that's a new way, a new form of investing in startup. It's by using tokens. So it can be a bit complex. It can look a bit complex. But at the, end of, uh, at the end of the day, it is not that much. It's just a new format to exchange money. It's a new format to exchange value. Uh, between founders and, and investors and to get some money when someone trusts in a, in a startup project. I hope it helps. I hope it uh, clarifies a bit uh, how things work. And I want to see you in another episode. Bye-bye. Very soon. <laughs>